Hey loves, welcome back. So today's video is a test of a product that I have read such mixed reviews of. I don't think I've ever seen such a kind of varied from one star to five star love and hate thing about one eyebrow product. Whoa, it's the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Waterproof Gel. This isn't a new product, even though the box says new. Oh, it's not, it's not new. It's been around for a while, but I was perusing, I don't know what that is. I was perusing apparently. I was looking on the web the other night to kind of find some drugstore products that I could try and test out for you guys and I came across this. The reviews range from five star, five out of five, love it, best purchase ever, great, better than Wonder Brow and I was like oh and then I read the one star. This one is a particular favourite, one out of five, slogs on your face, slogs on your face. That's genius, whoever wrote that. This is supposed to last up to two days. I'm gonna try. Now, I'm not gonna not take my makeup off because I do that religiously every single night, but I'm gonna put it on my brows and then remove my makeup at night, avoiding said brow area and see how we get on. Pick this up in a boot, so I made a bad shade selection as always. So the choices were limited but didn't stop me. I got 01 blonde and then I got 04 medium brown, I believe. I don't know what happened to 02 and 03. Oh. Another annoying thing is that they put a security tag right over the instructions and there are no, I've checked really quickly, there are no instructions inside the box, just here in tiny print that I now can't even read. So I pulled it up on said internet when I was perusing. Fill and colour your eyebrows with this ultra resistant eyebrow gel creating fuller looking definition that lasts for days. A waterproof and smudge proof tattoo studio brow gel from Maybelline. The word tattoo really does sum up longevity doesn't it? Use a sculpting tip to fill mid brow and tail moving outwards. Step two lightly fill in inner brow. Step three blend using grooming brush. Step four allow time to dry. Get quite a large thing. Thingy and a grooming brush which is just basically a spoolie. So this is 01 Blonde. Whoa, that is ginormous. I really honestly wasn't expecting that. I've got such skinny little brows. Oh, I'm so scared right now. That's massive, isn't it? So this is 01 Blonde. It's quite dark actually. Hmm. And this is 04 medium brown like i said i don't know where 02 and 03 went whoa that's dark should we just bung it on my brows give it a go um and then i'll keep checking in see how it wears today um i'll take my makeup off very carefully and i'll show you what it looks like first thing in the morning perhaps you, you know you are wanting brows to last a long time and hopefully this is going to do it so scared it's fine it's fine so mid, what, what did it say? Oh, for God's sake. Scrape off some of that excess. That's, oh, I know I keep going on. That's massive. Okay, here it goes. Actually, the color isn't bad. Um, I think if you're very, very, very pale and blonde, I, I guess it depends how you want to rock your eyebrows, but I'm a bit of a wimp with eyebrows. Don't like them to be too dark. That color isn't too bad at all, actually. Right, then it says lightly fill in inner brow. Inner brow. Inner brow? Inner. I like, it's, I need the real true idiot's guide to products. I really, really do. Inner brow, lightly fill in inner brow. I've not picked up any more product. So this massive big applicator holds a heck of a lot. What I'm gonna do, whilst it's still wet i'm going to get the thingy blend using grooming brush yes i'm going to soften it with the i hope you can see i hope i didn't just apply all of that with my face hidden behind the mirror because i'll be very annoyed it's a little bit difficult to control the application because for, I, I feel like the applicator is just so massive but it's not impossible i'll tell you what i'm really really enjoying about it is the tone of these browns i don't know if 02 and 03 are different but 01 and 04 they're not red or like too like ready and i keep saying red but do you know what i mean sometimes when i get brow products and try them out they are orange or or here's that word again red um and they look silly on me so i do prefer these kind of tones 
Right, I'm going to do the other brow. So we're going to very gently. So it grips hold of hair really nice. And then I guess you can just paint it on your skin. Slowly, slowly, bushy browy. It's not bad actually at all. When I at first opened it, my I was screaming <laughs> inside. I was thinking that girl that said slugs on your face was right. Okay, let's finish up. And then when I've completely done, I'll come back. I think I'm gonna leave it there. My initial thoughts are, I really like the color of 001 Blonde. Was it 001 Blonde? 01 Blonde. Um, but I'm not blonde. I do feel like if you're super, super blonde um, or grey or really fair, then this may be a tiny little bit too dark, but you might like darker brows. If you've got particularly sparse brows or you are completely building a brow from scratch, then the application I think might be a little bit messy and a little bit more tricky. So perhaps get like a small like liner brush or something that might work to build the shape. You can definitely feel it on there. I'm very aware that I've got a lot of product on my eyebrow. Unlike, you know, like Anastasia or Fenty, when they're on, you can't feel them at all. It does for me feel like I've got big slugs on my face. <laughs> That's like my favorite saying ever. I'm gonna give this a good 10, 15 minutes to fully dry so that I give it a fair test. I'll come back and we'll try and smudge off the old brow, shall we? Anyway, hold that thought. I'm back. Now I know I said I was just gonna wait for my brows to dry, but then I kind of forgot, went off, had lunch, <sighs> did all the things. It's been about an hour, I think, well and truly dry, I hope. I kept the swatches on my hand. I just was curious to see, you know, once a large amount was dry, how it would perform, if it would rub off. And for some reason, I have no idea how I did this. I got it on my jumper. I managed to, uh, I don't know, but it's on my jumper. Um, so it's definitely not transfer resistant until it's fully dry, which is obvious. So if you put on your brows, don't lay down. <laughs> don't lay down until you are certain that they are dry. So clean finger, clean brow. Uh, let's see <laughs> actually that's probably just my foundation moving is it um it doesn't really appear to be rubbing off too much i'm just rubbing off my makeup i'm rubbing off my foundation they have stuck together a little bit but i'm sure that's nothing a little bit of combing through can't help oh it's come off a bit but let's face it, if you're going to put on a brow product and you're wanting it to last for two days, then you're not going to be rubbing it with your big fat sausage finger like me. Um, not, I'm not saying that you've got a big fat sausage finger. These are big fat sausage fingers. Anyway, let's fix the foundation, fix the eyebrow. I'm going to come back later um, and just let you know how it's worn throughout the day. It's now ten past six, quarter past six in the evening. It's been about a good sort of six or seven hours since I put my brows on. Just finished a home workout. I work out from home, did a full body weight workout and I'm sweating like an, a beast, an absolute beast. And the brows are still on. The rest of my makeup is questionable, but they're hanging on there. So I'm really excited to see how they're gonna kind of wear overnight and what they'll look like in the morning. So like I said, tonight I'm gonna take off all my makeup. Um, apart, oh, this is, if you want to put that thing on, so it's my, my protein shake. I'm gonna take off all my makeup apart from my brows. I'm gonna sleep in them and see how I wake up. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, loves. Okay, it's the next morning. Um, I slept in my brows all night. Last night, I very carefully took off all of my makeup and tried to avoid the brows. It was really quite difficult. I'm so used to kind of cleansing my whole entire face. So I really, <laughs> really had to engage my brain, but I kind of managed it. And this morning, it's still on, it is still on. There isn't any smears or smudges. Um, it's still on there, but it's not completely even. Like it doesn't look like it did yesterday. It's a little bit patchy around this area. I can see like a collection of product in that spot, you know, a bit missing under here. What I think is happening is that the product is really clinging and staying onto any areas that there was there was brow hair, right? Um, I think any areas that the products touch my skin, where I kind of overdrew and tried to create a better shape, that product seems to have worn off. Don't feel like I need to do a full two day wear test. I think it'll probably hang on a little bit, um, but I'm gonna go back in and retouch my brows. So time saving wise, I don't really think it's gonna save you much time on the second day or the next day. 
because it's not looking as fresh and as perfect as it did the day before, which is fair enough, I've slept on it. If you've got those beautiful, full, bushy brows, you might find this okay. But for me, it's just way too large, much larger than actually the width of my eyebrow. So if I was going to use it again, I would definitely take a very small, precise brow liner, brow brush, take the product onto the brush and apply it like that. I have managed to kind of clear that clump that was created overnight by just combing combing my brows through with the spoolie. I think this will boil down to personal preference. This takes a little bit of application work. So if you're looking for a really quick, nice, natural, easy brow, then probably not. If you've got a little bit more time to spend and you know that you're gonna be wearing your makeup for 12 hours plus and you're gonna be you know, sweating or it's gonna be humid, then yeah, maybe, maybe it's worth persevering with it and getting it to work for you. I can kind of see now why this has such varied and mixed amazing product slug on your face reviews i'm kind of i'm kind of right in between the amazing and slug stage to be honest i think i'll play with it a little bit more and if anything changes i'll totally update you oh totally i'll update you in the comments um anyway as always if you found this helpful give this video a thumbs up it helps me out massively don't forget to hit the subscribe button ring the bell oh, gosh i need more coffee bring me coffee have a wonderful day. I'll speak to you really soon. Take care, guys.